So one of the arguments that people have about this, you know, tight, high density grazing is, well, the, the cows are on top of each other. You know, we've had people say, well, you can't put 100 cows in an acre. I mean, all they've got, you know, they got, all they got is manure. Well, here are 200 in three acres. And you can see their, their spacing. There's plenty of room here. Uh, they're not cramped up at all. And so, you know, that whole argument is just people that haven't done it, haven't seen it, don't know any better. They just make that argument. And it's a one day. So they're only, they're only gonna be here for one day. You can, see the, you can see the front fence right there and they'll move from there. They'll move into here um, uh, tomorrow where we're standing, move into here and the next day they'll move into the next one. So every one of these paddocks has a, has a front fence to keep them going into the next one. It has a back fence to keep them going back where they were and it has what's called a catch fence, which is Tamara's front fence. So you have three, three fences, a front fence, a catch fence, and a back fence. When they move into here tomorrow, this old back fence can come up, it becomes a new check fence, and you just leapfrog these three, these three cross fences along as the cows move through the field. The sheep have been a multi-year experiment for us here. Uh, it's a very, very small herd of sheep, and they've bonded to these cows and now the sheep are transferring that bonding to their lambs. Uh, they can go wherever they want to within the field, but they've bonded to the cows. So there's no, there's no guardian dog, there's no predator protection, but there's been no issue with predators because the cows keep the predators away. And, the, and the, at night, the sheep come in and they lie down in amongst the cows because they know the cows can protect them from a, from a coyote or, or something like that. So it's been quite a, quite an interesting thing. I don't know, I don't know how far you could go with the sheep in an experiment like this. You know, if we could actually have one sheep per cow or what. But it is a it is a remarkable thing, and the sheep have done uh, quite well. The lambs grow like crazy because they can they can go anywhere they want. So the sheep are getting you know ice cream every day, and the lambs just grow uh, crazy fast. That's a, you know, it's a small flock of sheep, but it, but it does complement, you know, it, it complements the cows and, and gives our, our uh, you know, subcontractors a, another little side enterprise. Those sheep are actually not ours, they, but they're, they're marketed through us, but um, one, of our, one of our team members owns those. This is his project. And so we're glad to, we're glad to encourage our young people to, you know, to do complimentary, you know, projects and, and do their experiments and test their wings. It's all a good thing.